Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making a delicious instant pot meatball soup. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So my name is Kristen Hills and I am the second sister from Six Sister Stuff. Now every Sunday we share an instant pot recipe with you. Today I'm sharing instant pot meatball soup. Now I love cooking meatballs in the instant pot. It's one of my most favorite things because frozen meatballs cook so fast and you can have a recipe literally on your table in about 15 minutes. So, if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is kind of saute the vegetables to get them just a little bit softer and full of flavor. So we're going to go over to our Instant Pot. Now this is a Lux, it's an older version, but it, all the Instant Pots should have a saute button. So you're gonna just push the saute and then wait for it to get hot. So once your Instant Pot's hot, we're gonna add just two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're just gonna mix this around, melt our butter, get the bottom hot and toasty so we can cook the vegetables. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna put in there is just one onion, all chopped up small. I like little onions. Then we're just gonna add about four to six stalks of celery, depending on if, how much you like. Then I'm gonna add four large carrots that we cut into little pieces, or if you're lazy, you can always just throw in some baby carrots, but I like, I like how these taste. Okay, once our vegetables are in, we're kinda just gonna stir it around with the oil and the butter just to brown them up a little bit. So this will take about two to three minutes just until your onions start to get soft, your celery starts to get soft, but don't worry, your carrots will cook as your Instant Pot cooks. Okay, as your vegetables are cooking, we're just gonna add four teaspoons of garlic in there. Make that smell really good with the onions. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, now I'm going to add all my other stuff. So first I'm gonna just add two cans of crushed tomatoes. Now you wanna leave the juice in there because this is a soup, so you want it to be soupy. There we go. Mix that around a little bit. You can still have your saute on. It, will, it won't hurt anything. Now we have three tablespoons of tomato paste that we're gonna throw in there. Now I am just going to eyeball it because, you know, that's how I roll. All right, then we're gonna just add one packet of ranch. Now my secret, this is Kroger Ranch. Now you can buy name brand ranch, but you'll pay almost a dollar more. I love buying store brand because it's literally the same ingredients and it tastes just as good. So save a dollar here and there when you buy store brand. Okay, we're gonna mix this in for a little bit. Mmm, it's starting to smell really good. Okay, now we're gonna add the beef broth. Okay, so we have, because it's a soup, we're gonna add four cups of beef broth, which is this whole entire container. I love buying these containers because I don't have to measure, I can just pour it all in. There we go. Okay, mix that around a little bit. Now we're getting pretty full on our Instant Pot. So this is a six quart. If you're, gonna make a if you're gonna make this recipe with a three quart, you want to half the recipe or it's gonna overflow. So I, you can make this recipe just fine in a six quart or eight quart. All right, now the most important part is the meatballs. I just have a 32 ounce bag of frozen meatballs. This is one of my favorite brands. It's Cooked Perfect. This is kind of, these are the meatballs that I buy all the time, so gonna dump those carefully in without splashing too much. There we go. Okay, mix those around a little bit. Now there's enough liquid in here, it's not gonna burn, and it's gonna, it's gonna be just perfect. So we're gonna put the lid on right now. Make sure that this little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Now, because we have the saute button on, we need to turn that off. So we have to push cancel. So we'll push cancel and then we'll push either, this is the old version, so it's a manual button or pressure cook button, depending on what you have. Now I love this because meatballs only take seven minutes to cook. 
So once you set the timer, you can just walk away. Okay, so when the timer is done, you're just gonna turn the little knob to venting to let out all the pressure and steam so the lid can open. So once the lid is up, oh, it smells so good. Nice, okay, we're gonna just dish it up and you guys will see just how yummy it is. Now my kids like this because they love the meatballs in it. I swear that's their favorite food. I like it because there's vegetables and other good things in it. Okay, so we're just gonna add some toppings onto it. So we like to add cheese because my kids will eat anything with cheese, right? And then just a little bit of green onions on top. Just to give it a pop of color and a little bit of flavor. All right, guys, there you go. Super easy meatball soup. Now, if you want more dump and go recipes, you can find them right over here. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.